Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. I have a problem to solve. When I saw Soren Berger demonstrate his scoops, he had two distinct styles of scoops. One with a very round bowl on the end and one with a more oval bowl on the end. The problem on each is how to hollow the bowl once the rest has been turned on the spindle works. He demonstrated several methods from a jam chuck to an adapter in a scroll chuck to just using a scroll chuck. Those work for the round whole, uh, bowl scoop, but he also made the oval. Uh, when he made the oval, he put, mounted it into a scroll chuck with jaws removed, but it left distinct marks on the exterior of the bowl. On this one it left marks, but I turned that into a decorative element. But with the oval one, that's a much harder task to disguise or then to sand out those marks. So I wanted a better way. I thought back to the egg chuck that we made a while back. I said, can I adapt that? I didn't get anywhere with that one. And I thought back to the coal jaws that we made a while back also. Mm, can I adapt that one? In the end, I made a wooden, let's call it a scoop chuck. It's a set of jaws that goes on my standard uh, chuck base, which then enable me to adapt the jaws very easily to the scoop that I need to make. It will work for both the round scoop for the oval scoop and many other difficult to hold projects in the future, at least I expect it to. But I'll get into the details of the chuck in another video very shortly. But for now, let's make an oval mold scoop with the scoop chuck. I'm using some of my Titan Cedar. It's a nice uniform wood, a great scent, and turns nicely. I'm going to use this project as bedan practice. To rough turn the wood, I'm using peeling cuts. With the soft wood, it is going well. This scoop's style does not need a perfect sphere, but more of an oval, so no careful measures for the sphere. I can eyeball this one. First, round off one end, then the other of the oval, then the handle. The bedan works pretty well. It seems less prone to catch than a skew. In the end, it's a cutting edge with a bevel that I can ride around the curves. To get a, the little hook on the end of the handle, I offset the live center by about a quarter inch away from the best side of the bowl portion. A few strokes and I'm ready to sand and finish. After finishing with Mylon's friction polish, I cut two V grooves to guide wire burnings. Unfortunately, the wire slipped on the slope. That resulted in a shadow burn that looks bad. So I sanded, then tooled away again and reapplied finish. Then I recut the grooves on a less steep area of the handle and burned them again.
with a bowl portion oval, it's tough to mount the wood to a metal chuck without some significant damage. That's why I made these wood jaws. So I've mounted the wood in the wooden chuck with two jaws removed. I've angled the handle just a little bit off horizontal, then on to hollow the bowl portion. Easy does it with that handle flying around. Even though I don't need the long tool rest, I'm using it anyway so that I have a good barrier between me and the handle. This scoop is not working out as well as I wanted. There's too much wood on the tip of the scoop. So I decided to try moving the handle back in the chug to make the tip protrude so I could turn it back more. That worked reasonably well, so I moved it a little more. I'd like to see you try that with a metal jaws or a jam chug. Then sand to clean it up, then apply finish to the freshly tooled wood. Finally, buff it up for a nice shine. This scoop did not turn out quite like I'd like it to have. I'd like to see the scoop with a better hull, yet it looks good. I'll have to do more scoops. But at least now I have a set of wooden jaw chuck jaws that I can use and reuse and adapt to individual project circumstances. When the jaws no longer serve me, I'll tool them off and glue on fresh wood. That's all for this week's video. Please like this video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to both my website and YouTube channel. Always wear your full face shield. Goggles are not enough. Until next time. This is Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns.